Hello everyone, welcome to Quick Code Academy. Today in this video, I'm going to teach you how to call APIs in sequence. So I have got uh, this inspiration from uh, one of the comment on my previous video on integrating API in Angular. So there was one comment uh, where he was asking how to call APIs one after another. So in this video, I'm going to teach you that. So in my previous video, I have covered the topic of integrating API. So if you don't know how to integrate API, API then you can refer to my video so i will paste that link in my description so without wasting any time let's start with this video so here uh, as you know in my previous video i have told you how to integrate api so this is the structure in which we integrate the api now we need to call the api in sequence okay so how can i do that so here just like this get method i will create one more method control c just i will do and then i will hit enter over here and then here i will say get first post okay and then uh, let's uh, if i have to get a uh, first post then i will uh, change this url like this so this is the free api uh, which you will get from json placeholder dot com just for demonstration purpose i'm using this so now here i will comment this part because this is not needed and then uh, let's see whether it is printing any data or not. So I will uh, mention some identifier over here like console.log we are inside post1 something like that I will uh, mention so that we will get to know we are inside post1 and then I'm calling this method in my ng on in it so here I will say something like this home uh, this dot get first first and let's see whether that API is getting called or not okay so here uh, as you can see my previous uh, previous thing is loaded where I had uh, I had around 100 records and now I'm getting we are inside post 1 and then I'm getting the this information as well and here also if you see I'm calling this API and this second API so but what happens so this when I'm loading both these calls are going parallelly but in most of the scenarios we want it uh, to be sequential so how we can achieve that so I will cover that in this video so for that we will have to do some modification in this syntax so first of all what we need to do is so right now I will just cut this part I will just say control X and I will paste it below like this and then I will just comment this part as of now so here what structure change we need to do is so after subscribe you need to give parenthesis like this within that you need to mention next like this and then you can copy paste as it is from here control X you can paste it over here then you need to uncomment again this part sorry i'm doing control z and then hit enter control slash which will uncomment and if you do just this slight change and then so there are methods so next we'll execute your uh, api and to check whether it is completed or not we need to mention this identifier complete you, here you can mention something like this arrow function and here you can say the call is completed the call you can put it in console dot log the call is completed the api call is completed so from here we will get to know that this call is completed so let's see first on the uh, browser console whether i'm getting that information or not okay so after finishing my first api i'm getting like this the call is completed but that is not the uh, solution yet so what we need to do is so instead of this calling this get first first post method over here what we need to do is on the completion of this call i need to call the second api so here i will call this method so here i'm pasting this 
I removed it from ng on the net and let's see through the browser you will get more idea so here I'm reloading so first post API will get called and after that only the second API will get triggered okay so here since the loading time is uh, not much we are not able to differentiate uh, between the timeline but once it loads for 22 milliseconds after that only this uh, first API will get called so let's uh, do one thing so we can do one more thing so here we can add few more so here something like this I will do I will copy this then I will paste it over here let's call it second method method and then uh, okay. so let's uh, do in that way only so here this piece of code I'm re removing as of now control X so here just like this I will mention next next and I will paste that piece of code again and so after this next I will say complete and here I will call second API which is this dot get second post method so now let's see it on browser so see so now you can see the difference so first post API is called then first then first so here uh, I need to mention second so only when the first is called and the call is completed the first API will get called and after that the second so like this way you will be able to achieve sequential calls in angular so this is helpful when your APIs are dependent on each other so there are cases where you need the data from first API to be passed to the second API so in that case you can use this API thank you for watching this video please share and subscribe to my channel thank you